pole right there. Back up. This is like, it's like the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's not what I was expecting, but I'll take it. Well, he's eating his feet a little bit. <laughs> but I still, still really like my bottle. That's all, baby. No more. Nothing there, either. <laughs> oh. All right, see you at lunchtime. Or somebody will. <laughs> Eat your feed. He's still got feed here. Yeah. That's good stuff. Clara. He doesn't need any help. All right, let's go feed the big cows. Come on, Clara. Let's go. Come on. There's Bonnie. Bonnie finally showed up. Well, looks like the rain's coming for possibly five days. Good morning. Hey, pretty girl. All right, girls and boy, buckle up. Getting ready to see a little bit more mud. Mm. Are you hiding? I see you, limbs. Uh, yeah, I got your number today. You're not gonna get mine. Booyah. Okay, y'all, I know you want to hear more from my husband. Some of you do anyway. So when he gets in here, we're going to start, we're going to start slow and easy. I'm just going to ask him if he has any advice for the day. We'll see. Okay, but hold on a sec. All right, just real quick. I know you, how much you love this. People have spoken and they really want to hear more from you. So we're just going to go slow and easy. You're really good with advice about things. Do you have any advice for the people today? Like, if you could just give advice to someone today, what would it be? Plant your corn in the spring, but not in the water. <laughs> Plant your corn in the spring, but not in the water. Okay, that's not what I was expecting, but I'll take it. All right, baby steps. Bonnie, are you happy to be here today? Looks like it. <laughs> Somebody's been eating Krispy Kreme honey buns. Not me. Was it you, Bonnie? Nope. Hmm. Bonnie, what are you doing? Are you sleeping? I'm trying to, Ma. Just had to turn the truck on because it was getting chilly. Got a little heat going. Yeah. No rain yet, but sure looks promising. <laughs> oh, what a rough life body has. Serious. Well, we woke up to 60 degrees. And definitely rain coming, I believe. This weather is crazy. Crazy. Almost as crazy as my hair right now. Well, I honestly thought we were going to be feeding in the rain this morning, but the sun is actually trying to peek out for a second, so we'll take that. Yes, it is very mild, even though I'm a little chilly. I'm going to have to go back and get my coat. So, we'll just be happy it's not raining yet. I decided while he's getting a second load of silage, I'm going back to the barn to get the other truck in which I left my coat. It's not, like I say, it's not cold, but it's damp and it's a little raw and it's a little windy. So, all right, I gotta take this out of four wheel drive. I think I can. Yes. Ha, ah, there we go. All right, buddy, you gonna start up for me? Nope, nope, not gonna do that. What's 
listen to that power. And we're off. like we actually grow around here because it's it's what's multiplying is mud and old equipment or old stuff something new showed up on the farm yesterday afternoon I did not get footage of it because I'm a bad youtuber but look what we have now a big old long fat shipping container because you can't turn down free shipping containers evidently it may or may not stay right there, but it'll be good storage for something, some things. Yeah. Or he said we could, we could make a cabin out of it. <laughs> he said, I know, I know there's YouTube videos out there. People make those things into like houses and stuff. Yeah. We'll see. Hey, Bonnie, you stayed over here this morning. You didn't get in the Zuki, did you? No, but you're going with me now, aren't you? Yes, yes, I'm here for it now, Mom. I was, I was rat hunting. Did you find anything? Did you find anything? Anything good? Yeah? No. Okay. Don't you just wish you could know what they were thinking? <laughs> She's thinking, let's go, Mom, let's go. Okay. Come on, baby. There. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? <sighs> A big fat yawn. Okay, y'all. While I'm sitting here in the farm truck waiting on the silage wagon, it is the perfect opportunity to tell you about a new channel on YouTube that you need to be watching. Yes, another one. Another one of my amazing friends, Natalie Kavoric, and her family have started a channel. It's called The Kavorics. I'm going to try to link it here or here. And if I can't figure that out, then I'm going to link it in my description. They are ranchers in Nebraska. Her husband, Luke, is hilarious. She's amazing. They have two sons and they ranch. And it's an awesome life. <laughs> and they're on horseback a lot. They sell freezer beef. Um, yeah, they do some really cool things. So check out her channel. Give them some love. And welcome them. Welcome them. Welcome them. Is that what we're going to say? That's what we're going to say. Welcome them to YouTube. Okay, do that right now. Thank you. Well, wait till the end of my video and then do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bonnie. What's the matter, baby? You can't get under there. Oh, yeah, I got it. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you know, smell my... <laughs> good stuff, Mom. It's good stuff. Tail wagon stuff. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. Got a new calf. I see it. Got a new one, a very late one. Wow, this group was pretty messed up this year. <laughs> uh, these were second calvers, which can tend to be a little off, but we had a, a, a dud of a bull turned out to be. So that makes six, I mean four. I think that makes five in here, five out of 10. Buddy, I hope you're doing better than the last bull did. So, I don't know that I've talked about that group, really. A um, couple things we did wrong last year. Because it was so wet. 
it was just so wet. We did not get our bulls out in the 60 days that we normally do. So they stayed in longer. So the ones that didn't catch that we would have pulled, when we would have pulled the bull out normally, we would have had several, a couple at least in that group too, I think that have definitely calved outside of that 60 day window. So they caught later, um, which is good and bad, I guess. It's good because they do have, at least we have those two extra calves, but they'll be smaller at weaning because they'll be weaned with the rest of the group and they're two, two to three months behind the others. Um, and also last year was the first year in forever that we didn't do a bull test. It was wet and it all just didn't work out to get the vet here. We didn't get our ducks in a row. So we didn't test our bulls last year. And the bull that was with them was obviously a dud. He was also a fence jumper and we got rid of him in the fall. So <laughs> that's the way that goes. We try to do things right, we really do, but sometimes things happen. And uh, and then you have to suffer the consequences. So, <laughs> that's where we're at. But, we got another healthy calf. That's good. That's the main, y'all. Of course, this doesn't do it any justice. It's big. It's big this morning on the horizon. What are you talking about? No, you're not going to talk. He was talking. Hmm? Hello. Hey, y'all. And welcome to our farm where we are raising a big fat crop of mud and a few cows. Duck. There's limbs everywhere. Anyway, happy to have you here. How about a thumbs up? And then stick around to see if we stay unstuck. <laughs> yep, she's a little more sloppy this morning. Because <laughs> we got another 43 hundredths of rain. Yeah. Twister. At least we didn't have any of those. Some people did. Thoughts and prayers for all those people in the south, southeast that had tornadoes. There's always a silver lining. We just got mud. And we can live with mud. There's a pole right there. <laughs> Come on, Susie. Doing this one-handed. Things we do for YouTube. Oh, there it is. Look at 
at it. Look. I love otters though. Otters are so cool. Say, well, the I didn't know we had, I mean, I knew there was more. otters, but I didn't know we had it in our pond. Come back up, yeah. buddy. He's over at the bank, man. He's going over back. Oh, dang, I don't see him. He's right behind that tree. So you thought you saw two, or is this one? Well, I thought it was two, but maybe this is. Where are you at, little buddy? Would he go up in the woods? Don't they stay in the water? Maybe a hole uh, went in one of them. Shucks. Well, yeah, there's a hole up under there. That's exciting for me. I've never seen an otter, other than at a zoo or something. I know they say we have them on the river here, but how about them apples? Okay. Huh. Talking about the otter and how fun they are to watch, but he's saying they're not, they're not friends of a pond. <laughs> What'd you say about their, what they do? They eat every fish in it. They eat every fish in it. And then they would leave piles of <laughs> pretty pond if I do say so. Where are those knuckleheads going? I don't know, but they're gone. <sighs> beep, beep. <whistles> okay. Wow. That was my ear. <sighs> yeah, I don't know where you're going. I just want to go. Barley is liking the warm weather, so that's good. You got another whole week before winter comes back, evidently. So, grow on, little barley, grow up. Keep growing up. Also, I'm hanging out the door like a dog. Okay, I got fussed up for not taking a picture where there weren't so many weeds. 
y'all see this? This is cleaner. Okay, noted. Well, Lawrence and Austin are going fishing because it is such a pretty day and he said, why not? I have to go to a meeting at church and my son has youth group, so we're gonna miss out, but I think that's gonna be a pretty good daddy-daughter afternoon. Oh, it's so beautiful today. Seriously, I can't explain how beautiful it is for January. It's beautiful. So, I'm only slightly jealous. Very jealous. But happy that they get to go. Yeah. This year's goal. Get the, uh, what is that thing? Washing machine. Get it off the porch. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Motley Crew. I was going to tell you bye. bye. Love you. Have fun. Be good, Bonnie. Have fun. Have fun, puppies.